This is an overview of the event box widget for Elementor by Unlimited Elements. Let's get started. Before getting started, you're going to want to make sure that you have Unlimited Elements a free plugin for Elementor installed on your WordPress website. If you don't have it installed, then just jump into plugins, click add new, search for unlimited elements, and install it from the plugin directory. It's totally free and you can use it. So the first step is searching for our plugin or our widget inside of the unlimited elements plugin. Over here in the search bar on the top right, I'm going to search for the word event. You can see there are two event widgets. We're going to use the event box. Just hover over that and click install. It will be installed from our cloud-based library. Jump into your Elementor page, start editing, and search for the event box again. Over here you can see this is the widget can drag it inside of our column and I'm going to take you over the steps and show you how you can customize this. So the first setting is actually for the layout. The layout can be regular or overlay. Overlay means that this content part will overlay on the image once you hover over the image. Next part is for the image. You can choose an image from any size. It doesn't really matter. It will adapt accordingly just to show that I'm just going to change the image and you can see that it adapts automatically you don't need to crop it or anything like that title this is the title for your event so you can change the text over here title text button text is for the button down here button link to link your button and date so we have sort of a calendar over here that we can change the dates so you can see it's split into date number and date month. So right now the number is 20, the month is February, and you can change the text to whatever you want or whatever format. You don't have to use it for a date. You can think of other creative ideas of how to use this. Badge, you can see that there is a badge over here. We can also change the placement of everything, of course. But if I take off this text, you can see that the badge disappears. So you can put any badge that you want, like sold out or a new event and stuff like that. And the last part of the content is for the footer text. Also over here, if you don't want to have any footer text, you can just take that off. Awesome. Inside of the layout, we have options to quickly turn on or off different parts of the content. You just see how that works. So calendar, you can turn that off. Badge placement, we can change the placement of the badge to be on the left or right side. Title, we can turn off the title on or off. Text, same thing. Footer text, we took it off, but oh, this is for the whole footer. So it it is including the button and the footer text. So if you want to turn just one, one of those off, then you can do that. And over here in items, we have a really cool part, which is for this icon list inside of the uh, event box. So over here you can see right now it's set up to location, date, time, and you can add anything else that you want. So for example, I'll just add another item and put some text over here. Let's say we can put the price for example. So let's write over here price 14. 50. Awesome. And you can change the, the, uh, the icon itself to any icon that you want. I'm going to use a money icon since we're doing price. Looking good. Let's jump into style and see what we have over here. So the first setting is for the box background. You can see that we have a background over here. If you want to change that, you can do so. Border. To add a border around your whole box. And box radius, you can see that the corners are rounded a little bit. Let's turn that off. So I'm going to change that to zero. Let's change the border width to one. 
so it won't be so prominent. Image height, as I said earlier, this can adapt to whatever height you choose. And image shape, this is something really, really cool, just sort of a gimmicky part that we've added that you can crop your uh, image into a right diagonal or a left diagonal just to make that look a little bit cooler. Box content, in the content, this is the content area. You can change the content padding. Right now it's set to 20, that looks good. And alignment, so let's align everything to the left. And later on we can align our button and our list. Calendar, let's see what we have over here. So calendar, you can align it to whatever part that you want. So right now it's aligned to the top, but I could align it, for example, to the bottom or uh, to the center if I wanted it to be in the middle. So let's say center, center, and now it's in the middle. And of course you can add margin in case uh, you snap it to the left and to the top or something like that. Let's bring it back to the top and to the start and add some margin just so you can see that. Now it's spaced out, maybe let's space it 20 pixels. Calendar radius, I'm gonna turn that off. Border, let's make it subtle and you can play around really with everything over here the width of this we try to make it really really flexible calendar day it, so this is this part over here you can change the typography you can change the color the background color and same thing for the month really simple title all the typography settings text all the typography settings and spacing settings and inside of the list over here we can align the list to the beginning just to align that nicely and what I think I'll do is also maybe go to button and over here in button I'll do a full width button which looks pretty good and you can change all the different design settings to make it exactly look the way that you want of course we have an option to change the footer background which is this part over here and you can also uh, change the badge, background, typography, and text color. So I hope you guys found this tutorial helpful, and I'll see you in the next video.